Welcome to episode 238 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I will be your host, and today I'm coming to you from inside Gary Vaynerchuk's truck. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. So right now I am sitting inside a 2016 Toyota Land Cruiser. Land Cruiser is obviously kind of an epic vehicle, uh, globally speaking. When you look at it from the outside, maybe not too much uh, to write home and talk about. It looks a little just above a standard Toyota truck or SUV, but really these Land Cruisers are meant to go through deserts and through rivers. And this one, this seat that I'm sitting in, if you're watching right now, this very seat is the passenger side uh, rear of the vehicle. This is the seat that Gary Vaynerchuk sat in for 260,000 miles. This 2016 Land Cruiser has 260,000 miles on it, believe it or not, over a quarter of a million. And you, if you follow him, have seen hours of content made right here in this seat. If you start to look through the content, um, you can see uh, this vehicle that he's sitting in this seat from this perspective or maybe from the perspective of the other side where D-Rock's shooting and you kind of get out this window here on my right. And this truck uh, is now mine. And let me tell the story about how I bought it. So um, as you may know, I'm pretty tight with the Vayner organization over the last eight years, right? This doesn't happen like in a snap. Oh, he's so lucky. No, it's like been eight years of me um, getting involved in the ecosystem, being paying attention, serving them, um, going through the mentors programming, allowing them to serve me and my businesses. And little by little, right, you you become friends with the people on the team. And now um, I am blessed with relationships all throughout the organization because it's really like I love these people. They are they have the same heart that I have. They want to help people. They want to serve people. They want to grow. They're entrepreneurial and all those things. So, of course, you also know that in the automotive world, it is really tough to get a new car right now. Inventory is low. It's hard to find something. And not to mention... Buying a car is confusing. So when uh, Gary's truck, now this is the truck that he's been driven around in, um, you know, he has a driver and this is the one that's hauled them all over the place. This truck needed, to, it was time for it to get traded in. And I got an email saying like, hey, our, we're, we want to get in a new vehicle. Where do we do? So um, because I guess I'm their car guy now. So they knew I knew some dealers. So uh, I found a great dealer. Um, Matt Lasher, West Her Group in Buffalo, New York. I knew that they would bend over backwards and have the access to get Gary what he wanted. And so we got, we found the vehicle that was a good fit. We put it together and all of a sudden I was like, you know what? Heck yes, I'm buying the trade because they were trading in the Land Cruiser. I was like, this is like a legendary piece of vehicle. And not only did I buy it, but I have plans for this truck. So it was fun. We went and we drove out to uh, Hudson Yards. Uh, Matt Matt came out. He brought his sons actually, so they could see uh, Vayner Media and show them New York City a little bit. They're real, they're little, and they had a blast on the way down. And so we went to Hudson Yards. We we you know made the transaction, got in the new truck. I was gonna. I'm driving this home, right? And this is my Land Cruiser now, right? This is the V Cruiser. This is the Land Cruiser that Gary created the V Friends ecosystem in. I just think of all the things over the last eight, six years that have happened in his ecosystem through a pandemic. And I was like, this truck needs to be preserved because I think it's a piece of entrepreneurial history that needs to be preserved. So I uh, have some plans for this. Actually, I had Gary sign it, which is here. I'll show you. I'll show you right now. I'm just going to take the camera. I'm going to show you right here inside the door jam where Gary used to sit. I had him sign his name just to, so we could remember. There's the door closing. So uh, I just wanted to indicate this is the seat he got in and out of. He actually drew a little a little V friend in there. His very 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 lucky black cat, which if you're not familiar with the V friends project, is actually like Gary V's Mickey Mouse. So if you think of it like Walt Disney and Mickey Mouse, um, and I do believe that our grandchildren will interact with V friends, and so I do think it's going to be that way. Um, you know, the cat is like Gary's Mickey Mouse, and to have the truck that Gary was in, it's like having the, having the vehicle that Walt Disney spent all his time in when he created Mickey Mouse. So put it on par with that. So for the truck, I have some plans for this baby. Um, I'm a, I happen to be a professional detailer from my first business, so um, I spent hours 
over the weekend just bringing the interior back up to kind of mint condition. It had a few miles on it, right? A quarter of a million miles. There's there's some interior, but I mean, Land Cruisers are made with top quality materials, so they all cleaned up incredibly nice. Um, Going to make sure the outside looks great too. It's got some dents and dings, which I think are part of the character of it. I'm always like, I want to keep my vehicles perfect, but this truck needs to keep the dents and dings because I think it's really indicative of the entrepreneurial lifestyle, right? You're moving, you're putting a bunch of miles on, you're getting dents and dings, but that's not the important thing. The important thing is that you keep going forward. So I'm going to keep those. Um, I'm going to pop in some uh, some halo yellow um, halo yellow fog lights because the, the very, very, very lucky black cat. Eyes are yellow, black cat, so perfect. Black Land Cruiser, yellow eyes. It's going to be dope. We have some custom emblems, a couple other secrets, and obviously Gary's signature is you know a key feature of the vehicle. I'm gonna I'm going to make an NFT for the vehicle, so it's also going to have an NFT that accompanies it. And if I can figure it out, and I think I have some friends that are working with DeLorean and some things like that, I might be able to tie the vehicle ownership to the NFT. And so you know, think maybe. Maybe the truck can make an appearance at, at VCon next year. I don't know. I'm going to call the car the V Cruiser. So it's a Land Cruiser, Gary V, V Cruiser. Started an Instagram account for it. If you want to follow the progress, it's V-E-E underscore Cruiser, V-E-E underscore Cruiser. I got like a follower, which is probably my wife, So who always thinks I'm crazy. Actually, no, she's very supportive and she loves it. All of that to say, I wanted to tell that little story. So now every morning I get in this vehicle, I feel like I summon the entrepreneurial energy that is that is kind of like pent up in this truck. Through this podcast, I want to share some of that entrepreneurial energy with you. The real point I want to make, I tell that whole story because number one, I think people find it interesting um, because if you watch this podcast, you kind of want some thoughts and you know some thoughts and some re- rationale behind why I'm doing what I'm doing. And things like this doing things that no one else does being willing to take a risk being willing to put your money where your mouth is being willing to um dream beyond what is kind of in this tangible place that we find ourselves every day where we go in and you know we have people that work for us and we have emails um we work for other people we have clients that we work for um we have news and we have world events that we try to keep up with we have families right spouses children um and all the things that come with that it's so important to find something that gets your creative wheels going and i think even more so that gets your creative wheels going in an entrepreneurial way. Look, some things you do just for you, right? You don't do them to make money. You don't do them because they're gonna generate a tangible return, but more of like an emotional return maybe, as I would put it. And sometimes you do things for money, right? You do, you flip items or you, you know, build a certain type of business or you make certain investments that are intended to, you know, generate you cash and generate you revenue. And then sometimes, and this is what I wanna talk about, Sometimes, and I think ideally, the more you can, the better. And the people that have done this really good have whole businesses that are around this principle, working there, working to get there. Sometimes finding little projects that both get you excited and because it's something you're passionate about and also make you money. Something you're passionate about and that also makes you money are important for an entrepreneur. Right, because it's about growing a business, but finding little projects that that turn you on, that that get get the creative juices from, that get a little of excitement, and at the end of it, there's a financial reward. I think those things are important to find, and those things usually require you to get a little creative. And if you do get excited about a project, I think the chances of it working are higher than normal, because you see an angle because of your passions, you see an angle because of your unique giftings, that might allow you to turn this into that. And turning this into that in a unique way is usually something that people pay attention to. So this truck right now, the V Cruiser, is uh, me turning this into that for my passion, for my energy, for my creativity. And I bought this truck. I'm going to do all this stuff to it. I'm going to build brand around it. I'm going to preserve this relic of entrepreneurial history. And I'm going to sell it to someone else who can take that energy and take it the next level for a profit. Let's be honest. I'm trying to flip this sucker. But I'm trying to flip it in a way that's meaningful not only to me, but also to Gary. I want him to understand what I'm doing, and I want him to be behind it. And I'm going to pass that forward and on and on. So I wanted to share that story with you today. Thank you so much for being a part of this community. And hopefully you get a little energy from this video. And as always, if I can ever do anything to help you out, you know how to reach me. 
I'll talk to you next time. We can-